everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Grandmommy. You know at Grandmommy's house, food is all about love and everybody's welcome. So here it is on a snowy day in Michigan, but it's going to be warming up soon because it's Valentine's Day. So we are going to make a yummy chocolate treat that could be just perfect for little gifts for Valentine's Day to give your sweethearts. So let's get started. Alright, so today we're going to make this super rich, moist chocolate cake and we're going to make the little small bunt cakes. So this recipe is going to make 12 of these and they make just wonderful little treats and gifts for um, lots of different areas. Maybe for your kid's teacher, maybe for your sweetheart, maybe for yourself. All you're going to need is one box of chocolate cake mix super moist make sure whichever one you buy it has pudding in the mix so Betty Crocker super moist has one and uh, that's the one that I usually get so one box of chocolate cake mix one large package of jello chocolate pudding Ooh, all that chocolate smells so good gonna put those in with one egg Two cups of water, now I'm going to stir all this up together and it's just a quick easy stirring it by hand, don't need your mixer, mm -mm -mm. hope your winter's going pretty good so far, actually we've been pretty lucky here in Michigan, it hasn't been a frozen snowed out winter so far I enjoy some of the snow I enjoy all four seasons that's what I like about living in Michigan you know this is a good easy treat that your kids could help you with too since you don't need to use an electric mixer and it can be stirred up by hand and it's not an awful lot of ingredients it is um, something that kids can help out with so I have mixed together the cake mix the pudding two cups of water and one egg. Now I am going to add in two cups or 12 ounce bag of chocolate chips. I usually buy the big bags at Costco and I really like their brand uh, better than the name brands but two cups of whatever chocolate chips you have on hand. Stir those in. By the way this delicious recipe came from my very good long time friend Miss Donna. So Mother Betty if you're watching you tell Miss Donna to check this out and thanks for the recipe. We've been making it for years and years and it makes very nice gifts even like for a baby shower if you want a little take-home gift for people or if you're having a dinner party and you want to send something home with them this is very quick and easy to make and a yummy treat to send home. So, I have my batter ready and now I'm going to use my scoop and I'm going to fill up my little bunt pans and I'm going to put about two scoops in each one and just spread it around a little bit in there. I have my oven preheating at 350 and I'm going to bake these for 20 minutes. Now you can also make this in one large, like if you want to make one large bunt cake. And then you're going to want to bake it for about an hour if you pour it all in together. But you know on these cold Michigan days, how nice to be in a nice warm house baking. The oven's going. Warm up the house a little. Do a little baking. Maybe get the kids involved so it can be a fun activity. And you know, it's always fun to have a good dessert around, right? Everybody likes a little bit of dessert. So, filling up my pans. There's one, one pan of six, and now I'm going to fill up the other one.
when we get ready to put the frosting on these, I'll show you how to uh, dress them up a little bit for Valentine's Day. See how easy this has been so far? And, and it's pretty quick. It's not something that takes a real long time to get done. Scoop them in. If you don't have a scoop, just use a big spoon. All kinds of kitchen gadgets and tools you can use to do things like this. And when you've been cooking for so many years, you tend to uh, collect just a few of those. Alright, so I have my cake batter in. I'm going to put these in the oven, and I will see you when they get done. All right, so our yummy chocolate cakes have come out of the oven. Just look at that goodness. Mm -mm. I have 12 of them cooled and on my cookie sheet. Now, to make our chocolate glaze, it takes one half cup of chocolate chips, a fourth a cup of boiling hot water. I'm going to put these two together and stir them until the chocolate chips melt. And once this is all melted, I'm going to add in one cup of powdered sugar. There we go. All this chocolate fudgy goodness. Listen, also, before you put those cakes in your pan, don't forget to put a little cooking spray on those pans. I had already done that, and I forgot to mention it, so make sure you spray your pans. All right, now my chocolate chips are melted in this boiling water. And I'm going to toss in one cup of powdered sugar. And this is going to make a glaze that we're going to drizzle over these cakes. So, one cup of powdered sugar. Mix that up. Now you always know when you're working with a glaze or a frosting. If it gets too thick on me, I'll pour in a little more water. If it's too thin, I can pour in a little more powdered sugar. It's a flexible thing. Frostings and glazes. That all mixed up well. Let's see how we're doing. Oh yeah, that's a nice, nice texture for a glaze. All right. So I have these cakes on a sheet and I have some parchment paper underneath. You could, you could put some wax paper underneath also. And I'm just gonna take my spoon Get a big spoonful of the glaze and just drizzle it over the tops. Just hold the spoon and pour it. You can make a little design. You can uh, let the kids do it and let it come out any way they would like to have it. I'm sure they have some interesting ideas about how to uh, drizzle it on. Just keep drizzling. Now, while I'm doing this, I have some pink candy melts melting in my double boiler and that's what's going to give these a little bit of a valentine flavor so see you could do it with any color for a holiday that you wanted to make these special but since we're close to valentine's day that's what we're going to talk about so the candy melts can be melted in your microwave i'm not a big fan of microwave so i use my double boiler so i have melted the pink now, on top of the chocolate glaze, I'm going to give these a nice little pink drizzle. See how beautiful that is? I did this for my granddaughter's baby shower since she was having a girl, so we had some pink, pink chocolate cakes. Everybody got to take one home. Just drizzle it on. As you know, if you work with any kind of these candy melts, they harden up, dry up pretty quick. You could use blue if, if it's a boy baby shower. You could use a Christmas color, spring colors. The main point being underneath it all is a yummy chocolate cake. Use your creative skills and talents. You might even think of a better way to drizzle without a spoon. You might have some sort of gadgets that I don't have. So just uh, 
make them look as pretty as you want. You could put some sprinkles on top of these. I think when I did them for the baby shower, I had some pink pearls on the top. Just to add a little bit of extra. One more to go. All right. So there you go. Double dense chocolate. Some people call them lava because they are pretty gooey in the middle with a chocolate glaze and a pink glaze. Mm -mm -mm. So listen, have yourself a wonderful Valentine's Day. Celebrate with your kids, with your sweetheart, with your husband, with maybe your friends at work. They'd love to have one of these too. As a matter of fact, see these clear little bags one cake fits very nicely in there tie up the top and boom you have a nice little gift so enjoy it enjoy it with the people you love because remember at grandmommy's house food is all about love and everybody's welcome hey i'll see you next time bye bye